morning. It is Saturday, August the 12th, 6.47 a.m. The lighting is worse than normal because the sun has not yet reached up high enough to give me some good lighting for my camera. How inconsiderate of it, Ryan. Uh, yesterday, I was at Ace Hardware after my Friday mo jobs to pick up some PVC for a project that I'm doing uh, on my trailer, enclosed trailer. Um, it may have already been uploaded. I'm not sure which one of these videos will get up first. But anyways, I'm walking around Ace Hardware and I get a call on my phone and I'm actually talking to an employee so I can't take it. So I listen to the voicemail and it's um, a real estate agent who has a property that needs to be cleaned up to show and uh, you know in order to sell it the young lady who called me called me because she saw my trailer parked at Ace Hardware so while I was walking around Ace Hardware to buy PVC for this project that's when she saw me and decided to give me a call so it's like <laughs> sometimes you can send out mailers you can optimize your website you know you can make sure you post on Craigslist uh, you make sure you, you pay attention to your local Facebook group so that anybody who ever needs lawn care, you jump on it right away. But sometimes, and I feel like <laughs> more often than not, this is what's happened to me, you know, during this first season of mine. More often than not, it's just being in the right place at the right time, and it's got absolutely nothing to do with you. The heck, I thought I heard water. I thought, I said, no, it can't be water. This is like an AC condenser. Somebody turn that spigot on. The heck, why would they do that? I'm too afraid to go back there. I'll go back there once I most. Oh my Jesus. Oh my God, dude. Ah, guys, I don't do good with spiders. 
Oh, I'm. Oh. 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 So, what do you guys think? It is. Sorry about the finger. Uh, 7:29. 7:29 Saturday morning. I'm gonna go get all my PPE on and that spider. I I don't even know. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to see how much of that ground is flooded because I don't know how long that thing's been going. I'm too scared. I am too scared to go turn it off now. I'm not gonna do it. I am not gonna do it. I mean, look at. Well, you saw it, but. It's right in the middle of here somewhere. I'm not doing that. I can't even, this is gonna be one of those ones where I actually think I'll just set up the tripod in the middle and whatever I catch, I catch. I'm not gonna focus a ton on filming it because this is a lot. This job's gonna be bigger than I thought. Um, we'll get it looking decent. And I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know if I can get my desired hourly rate or not. Um, I can't even get into the backyard any further to get over there to get any more footage because I'm not walking through that. I'm gonna have to cut a path with the mower. I'm too afraid of snakes, man. This is this is like snake heaven.
Okay, so we're running low on battery, so I'm just gonna do an update. This is with uh, most of the stuff just scythed down with the hedge trimmer. The things that look higher are what have been done with the hedge trimmer but not gone over with the mower. That makes it a lot easier to deal with. And uh, the young lady who talked to me, she said it was slightly overgrown, so this job is obviously a lot bigger than that. So we're gonna have to modify our expectations. Excuse me. So we're gonna actually designate a portion that uh, is very obviously overgrown woods, but get it away from the house. Because, uh, well, I mean, there's it's taller than me, so there's nobody who would say that's slightly overgrown. Uh, here's the side. We'll, we'll just do that with a weed whacker. And then this will come through with the mower so we can just designate, you know, three or four feet off the house that's, that's maintained. And uh, like this area here, and then woods past that, all this backyard. A lot of it's just woods up to the fence line, so we're gonna leave it mostly like that just because it's not, the scope of this project and the budget doesn't allow to clean that all out. Uh, the sun, is this another reason I haven't been filming? The sun's right on, the, is making for bad shots. So we'll try and string trim a nice clean line around all this stuff, but. We're not going to be pulling anything off of the fence. You can see this big portion over here is just got to going to have to stay overgrown because, and there's nothing for it.
Okay, 12.09 in the afternoon, and I'm done with what I can. Um, she wanted it decent. I feel like it's decent compared to what it was. If somebody walked in, they would say, oh, the land care. And if they didn't know what it looked like before, they would say, oh, the lawn care is horrible here. No weed eating right around the house. Uh, fence line still needs to be done. There's a lot of areas that are still overgrown. Some of them were like taller than me. So there's that area you saw that I just designated. That's going to be wilderness. You can say it adds to the privacy and the seclusion of it because that's uh, there's two, three feet. Hey, I'll give it a go with hedge trimmers and my mower. Four or five feet? No, I, I that's not overgrown. That's that's a forest. So anyways, I finished at 12.05. It's 12.10 now. I couldn't find my trailer key, pat, my, the keys to the padlocks on my trailer. It also has the main key to my mower. It also has the key to my trailer hitch uh, lock and receiver pin lock and all that stuff. So I spent about five minutes looking for it until I finally say, Brad, is it possible you locked it in the trailer? And I did. Thankfully, um, and this is getting to a little bit of my backstory here. I, I went through a stint in high school where I thought I was going to be a locksmith. So I actually have a set of lock picks that, um, man, I must have been 14 or 15 when I ordered these things. But it took me about uh, two or three minutes. I haven't practiced, I haven't done any lock picking in years. It took me, and honestly, this wasn't really skill, this was me poking and prodding. It took me about um, three minutes to unlock the padlock to my trailer. So, thankfully, I had these, and, I, you know, I would have, worst case scenario, I wouldn't have been able to find them. I would have gone home, used my spare key. Do I even have another one? I think the other one's in the mower. I think I had one more Brinks padlock key at home, and I would have found it there. But, so, you know, having the lock picks didn't really help me other than peace of mind that they're not on this property. But my point is, please don't ever think locks keep your stuff safe. Um, that's been, you know, that's a theme that I've heard Brian from Brian Lawns making it say and Keith Calfis say, you know, anybody who wants your stuff, they're going to get it. If you're curious to see more about lock picking, let me know. That's not really lawn care related, but I didn't know if you, if you guys are interested in that or not. But anyways, my point is, don't ever just rely on locks. That's one of the reasons why I got this 5x10. It's only 5 feet high. When you stand, It's actually 7 feet tall from the you know tires to the ceiling. But it fits in the garage. So I've got the garage, several locks. My There's a garage door, and then there's a you know regular door on the garage. That's got two locks on it. So I don't ever give myself the illusion that my stuff is, is theft-proof. But... Um, I do feel like I've got enough locks in place that if someone's messing around, I'll have enough time to, to realize it. But, you know, I know somebody said before something about, well, if they start smashing on it, I'll hear it. This, two minutes, not a single noise. You wouldn't hurt anything. So I'm not trying to be an alarmist or say, hey, I'm coming to get your stuff. I just want you guys to have the proper like I'm your mentor. I want you to really think about, I'm just trying to point out that locks don't really do anything except, keep, what do they say, locks keep honest people out? You know, kids messing around, maybe somebody really wants it bad enough, if they practice just a little bit with certain tools, you know, my stuff's as good as gone. It's not anything. I want to get out of here. I'm tired of this place. Let's go.